Ah. Oh, it's it's a gla I think it's like a glass sponge, but just yeah. colored differently. It looks like the same sponge on the left and the right. Yeah. One of them has a slightly different coloration. Yeah, so this is a good I good time to look at these two. I think these are actually black corals. I can see on ah, here. They yeah. kind of looked like a clutterized at first, but I think that's a black coral sponge directly on the right, right above the the other, sp the darker sponge. This gives us an idea. Although, yeah, I think, yeah, I would say these are black corals. Tentacles are pretty, uh, yeah, they look pretty visible. They don't look like spicules. Possibly something like antipathies or something like that. As well as um, on the in the nine o'clock position, that's up from Noah. I'm almost certain, possibly in the genus Acantha from Noah. It's got a small shrimp on it. Oh yeah. These corals on the left hand side we've collected a lot in the past on small rocks. They come up as associates because it's they're very hard to sample otherwise. Very good. Thanks, pilot. No problem. And there's more of those lobate kind of stylasters. Yeah, stylasters. Interesting. Yeah, like a complex art. Looks like one. right there, little baby one. Archipedia? So much life if you look pretty closely at yeah. this. One nine zero is still good, Tony. I'm yeah, still pointed that way, and still looks uphill. Yeah. Right. Maybe once he kind of gets up that little spot, we're calling it. Okay, sounds good. Basically, like no delay because we're so yeah. shallow. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's real nice. It's easier to stop and look yeah. at things and not have to try to time everything. Yeah. I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear. Uh, she was asking, why is everything so small? And yeah. Maybe it could be the currents, if the currents are really strong in this area, that, you know, it's not advantageous to grow really big in size because drag and you yeah. would probably break off. <laughs> I mean, I, I would say the substrate looks a little bit more consolidated than what we were seeing at the end of the dive yesterday. That was more like conglomerated soft carbonate sediments but yeah you know, i i don't know i you know maybe we'll see more when we get to the top all right i'll call move in if you guys are ready uh yeah i'm happy sounds good bridge is rv nav this is heaven for a sponge ecologist <laughs> it's like a field day uh, yeah, I'm ready for move if you are. Uh, yeah, same as last. Range one five meters, bearing one nine zero degrees. Speed decimal two. Good copy. Oh, here's a really big sea urchin. Coming up. Can we do a snap zoom on this sea urchin? Yeah, copy that. Thanks. Lasers. I bet you can come in. Mm 
Very long spines. Ah, this is similar to what we saw, but very long spines. Uh, they're actually look. They look like they have barbs on them as well, or Those spines. Yeah, look at the barbs on the spines. They do look deadly. <laughs> Don't want to get poked by one of those. It's got the, the spines on them and everything. I don't think I've, I mean, we've seen a lot of different shaped spines on these sidereids, but I've never seen it with, with uh, very sharp thorns. Yeah. That's a really cool coloration. Yellow and white. Interesting. Thanks, pilot. No problem. They are made for penetration and not to keep it from withdrawing. They pointed the wrong way to keep it from uh, keep it anchored. Yeah, more of a deterrent, right? Yeah. yeah we'll I wouldn't want to mess with. <laughs> wouldn't want to mess cool. with it. Yeah. Yep. Tracked over just to keep you in frame. Copy. You can go back or come to you. Okay. So we're now at a depth of about 500 like meters, 510 meters. So coming up slowly along this steep area of uh, small escarpment north of Moab. So the rotation is A-frame, we're good with it. Understood, great, thanks. Make a any change to starboard pilots. We are pretty much smack dab yeah, in the that. middle of the Molina Passage, which is a body of water Back that uh, separates Copy. the western side of Puerto Rico from the Dominican Republic. It's a fairly shallow um, water throughway from the Atlantic into the Caribbean. Only about 500 meters on depth, in uh, average depth, through this area. Several of the dives we'll be doing over the next few days will be in this dive range, 500 meters and shallower, to look at deep water fish habitat and depth distributions. And what we're seeing right now in the structure, it looks very similar to what you see on land and on the island of Mona. Blocky carbonates and yeah, like erosion. And a lot weathering. of caves, a lot of these undercrops, yeah, a lot of erosion. Oh, there's a purple fan, six o'clock. Yeah, going back to it. I think that's a fan. Looks like it has a brittle star on it. Understood. All right, Fiddy, you want to come partial? It's not, not a very common color, purple, for octocorals. Oh, this looks interesting. I've seen a purple one in a long time. Or yeah. Or yeah. Ever. yeah. Forever. <laughs> well, there's Feels a, like forever. <laughs> there's a family of octocorals that's notorious for being purple and, and magenta in color, but I've never seen, this is a plexorid, almost certainly. I've never seen a purple plexorid before like this, even though they can have some pretty deep blue colors. This one's really, okay. really interesting, Continue actually. In. Yeah, go for a video. I'll center. I actually might, given how many associates are on this, I might ask the shore if, if they would consider a collection if we're in a good position. Um, I think ship stopped. Yeah, it is. Doing a heading change. We'll give, we'll give the shore side about 30 seconds to a minute, and then we'll move on. Sounds good. I don't want to waste too much time, but this is really, really unusual. We don't see this deep, dark purple color with plexorids, and plexorids are difficult enough to identify, given that this one also has a chirostylid crab as well as a fairly large brittle star. Yeah, 
This might make for a difficult collection, though, since it's on a vertical wall, right? Um, yeah, I'd have to zoom out and look at the situation a little bit. Yeah, Vida, do you want to yeah, take what you want and then... Yeah. In the yeah, meanwhile, yeah, get around. some imagery. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've never seen a, a purple Blixoric before. <laughs> That's definitely That's a... Good. Just try to come up, right? Really unique yeah. coloration. I don't think that's crazy. Yeah, watch it. I think we could try to do this if we did want it. I don't think that's an absurd request. Do you want to snap back in on it? <laughs> so it, it seems to have gotten Cheryl Morrison's attention on shore. I was hoping she would chime in. And I was uh, I was thinking, yeah, I mean, there, there are some purple octocorals, namely uh, Victor Gorgia or corals in the Victor Gorgia Day are, are come to mind, but this definitely looks more like a Plexorid rather than a Victor Gorgia. Definitely a Plexorid. Yeah, so we have a second for a collection on shore pilots if you think it's feasible. Uh, yeah, I think we could try it. Is it going to be brittle? That it's, might it's probably going to be woody, actually. It might okay. be difficult yeah, to then. pull off, yeah. So it's definitely going to be a snip rather than a, a right. crack. Copy uh, that. A crack. All right, video, you want to come wide? And then come up. We got lasers real quick again. Hold that. So 10. All right, yeah. All right, video, come all the way. Um... Uh, I, yeah, this is, uh, Cheryl, I was just noticing, you know, when we zoomed in that there are a few associates on here, and we'll see what we can do. I mean, our last collection of a Kyrostylid in this manner managed to grab it all, but um, I bet you it's get definitely a, uh, a, a three for type collection. The Brittle Star, yeah, the Purple Luxorid, as well as the, yeah. uh, the yeah, Kyrostylid yeah. there. I think this is a decent spot. So I think that so, got you, buddy. be a good um, collection to satisfy to a bunch of different parties. If not, I can back up real quick. Um, video, come back in. And then watch it. Um, would any of the uh, other items on it uh, try to evacuate as yeah. it's grabbed? You know, um, you know, the crabs always, there's yeah. a chance. I but he probably will. Okay. Um, By luck, you want the high beams. It's so small, you might you have to it. grab closer to the base. Yeah, copy that. I might just try to grab the whole thing if that's okay. Seems okay. All right. High beams coming on, video. I think it's too low. Yeah, I right. added minor amount of light to this to the main camera. Copy. Good All right, you can come partial video. Tony, what you can uh, do? Partial on. Uh, main HD. Bring it all the way back HD. to the stow yeah, position. Please. And then go inboard with it. You know what I mean? That's how you like that. Out. Starboard lower. Bring it up to the stowed. Yeah. So keep an eye on it as you move it. Oh, yeah. Stow that sucker. Stow, 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 and then when it's all the way stowed, then bring it inboard. I Want think it all the way up? Yes, yeah, it's lightened up a little better. I right, um, bet it come partial on uh, main HD, please. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Looks 
Pretty so good. all the way in and then yeah. inboard. Yeah, and then inboard. Look at that. Boom. Nice. Next question. All right. I like it. Get that. Nice. Well done. All right. This um, is good for your mini. Yeah, it's good to start. So I was going to go starboard, but for speed, in case he's trying to evacuate, I think I might just go port enter. Port enter? Yeah. So you can get that ready. Then our hydraulics ready to go? Yep. All right, arms coming on. Three, two, one. Arms live. Follow you over. Center up. Like Let me know if I touch anything with my arm on the side there. Yeah, we to look up a little and see how. I don't know. I should I try to back up real quick? Yeah, it is pretty close, huh? It's almost too close. Video, come uh, all the way out on main HD, please. Thanks. Or maybe even if you have to rotate a little. Yeah, I'm gonna back up and do one of these. Copa, you want to hit Joylock for me? Thanks. Yep. I think it's a little better. All right. Then, yeah, you can follow me on many things. That's good. Video come partial on uh, main HD, please. That's good. It always looks so much bigger when you zoom in. Uh, and then you get close, and you're like, oh, it's smaller. Ready to extend? Uh, one sec. Okay. You can put, yeah. All right, you can extend. Video come wide, or are we wide on main HD? Yes, we are. Copy, thanks, sir. Does that look okay? Yeah, come down a little more on Mini Zeus when it's all the way out. Okay, looks like it's fully extended. Go ahead and close. 
But I think the crab stayed in, unless someone saw it swam off. Yeah, I didn't, everything else made it. I don't it's know. our yeah our impression that the crab is in the box. All right, copy that. Nev, do you want to note that there's a crab in the port inner? Yeah. Yeah, you can follow me back, Copilot. Arms coming off in three, two, one. Nice. Nice. Done. Can set that back up and yeah, you can take your camera back. Oh no, that then we're good. Watch these. Anything else in this area you'd like looks on before you start moving again? No, we're all set, thanks. Alright, sounds good. All right, guys, set back up. Moving on. You can bring that swing arm back out if you wanted, co-pilot. Oh. Copy Make that. sure to bring it uh, outboard before you deploy. Phenomenal collection pilots. Everyone on shore is very excited about this particular coral. Awesome. Thank you, Auschwitz. Looks good. Looks like cleaner rock up, yeah. up ahead. Do you want to get another 15 in? Yeah. Want it. Like this all kind of sheathed off. Bridge is starving now. Uh, yeah, I'd like a move. Range 1.5 meters, bearing 190 oh, degrees. Like yeah. Different sponge. Whoa, what do we got oh. here? <laughs> it's a good copy, Rich. Can we look at the sponge first before we go up to that coral? Yeah. That, that kind of uh, lumpy one on the bottom. Video, want to come in? Kind of looks like that um, demo expandable sponge. foam you <laughs> inject into... <laughs> Holes and, holes and cracks in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all you need? Or do you just want to... That's, that's all, right? Yeah. All right. yeah that's enough. And then we'll go back up to the coral. Yeah, a lot more rubble, as we're seeing here. Boulders and fallen plates. Well, for a second, I thought it was hanging from above, but it's actually... Yeah. Very nice. Alright, video. We're start to come in. Yeah, it's not showing up. Yeah, you can start to come in when you want video. This one strikes me as it could be in the a genus we haven't seen yet. This Dan, correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like it could be Lyopathies. Looks a bit, a little bit more like myopathies than antipathies. In la pantalla es un uh, coral, coral negro. Yeah. So, despite it being totally white in color, the skeleton underneath this coral is completely black. So they're known as black corals. A lot of the ones we've seen so far today have been really small, um, but this is one of the larger fens we've seen. 
on this expedition, really, of black yeah. coral. They get quite large. But We've this seen the stickopathies that have been really long, but this is, I think, one of the more, I guess, yeah. larger black corals. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised to actually not see any associates. Usually you see these things are covered with squat lobsters and brittle stars. Can we take a look at the skeleton on the bottom? It yeah, kind of sh that. shows how dark it, it gets. And I wonder if I see something encrusting there, or if it's just damage. Yeah, maybe a bryozoan or a sponge? Something is sponge. Yeah, it looks like something's encrusting on the yeah. close to the base. There's a lot of hydroids as well, these kind of hairy structures. Hydroid fans, but yeah, you know, I think uh, it's tough to see what it's that encrusting good. structure oh, is. Yeah, right there, but yeah, it's good. Hold that for a second. All right, come back in. Leopathies, possibly even the species Glabarima. Yep, very nice pilot. If video wants to get any more video of this, uh, you know we're okay with that. Yeah, copy that. Right, video. Do you want a full specimen? Yeah. Copy. That. A little oh. more. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's a Tina four. Huh. Yeah, a small little Tina four floating. Tony, if you want to turn the laces on, just. This is definitely characteristic of these depths. Almost looks like the exact same, same, t same type of carbonate there. This one is covered, though, I with these all, brittle like stars. This in the background. Yeah, this okay. doesn't There's seem to have an associate. There. Except for the sponges close or bryozoans close can to the base. Can we just yeah. move a Not little any. bit, uh, pilot? So until we can uh, pick them out just to get an idea of the size. I'd be able just to tell. Yeah, there they are. But there we go. What's that? Yeah, as long as we oh, get yeah. on a similar plane yep. at some point. Yeah, yeah, we, we got them there. All right. Sounds okay, good. thank you. No problem. It, it can't hurt, but, you know, we can, yeah. Pull, right. pull the shore side if they have any interest it's in this. tilted pretty down, but uh, send it up on 190 and uh, I'll come up Very as nice. you come up. So you got some leeway. After that, I'll just. That's just about 90 there. So copy. I'll just get around that yeah, and I'll start moving forward. forward. Looks like there might have been a failure in the seafloor around here. You can see pieces. For sure, it's definitely an area that's seen a lot of activity. Oh, you can get my main lights off too. I'm still on. If you notice, we are in an area today that one, right? is. Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah, there's another black, black coral. coral. Yep, oh. Nine o'clock. Sticking straight out. Is that a request for a zoom, Washington? Yes, please. Yep. Yeah, right. Is that right there? Yep, there you go. All right, video, go for it. This one might be uh, another black coral. Looks more like maybe stylopathies or parentopathies. Looks like another small yeah. little black coral underneath. I'm not yeah. sure if it's part of that. I wonder, yeah, it's, it's difficult to tell. This this one strikes me as more like the thing we were calling stylopathies that uh, was identified at a previous site by one of our shoreside scientists. But usually I have, these were on flat bottom. This is the first one I've seen that's on a semi-slope. Very beautiful specimen, though. Thanks, Pilot. I think 
We're all set with the Red or green? images on that. Red is disabled, green is go. Alright, happy with that watch lights? Yes, thank you. Alright, moving on. Alright, co pilot, pushing forward some more. We're spending a lot of time this morning just getting a better handle on the amount of deep water diversity in the benthos in this area. We haven't seen a lot of fishes, but we expect to see more as we reach the top of this slope, which we should be getting there in the next, let's see, where are we? About 50, 50 or 60 meters. meters. Yeah. Yep. Maybe a little bit more, but it's only about 40 more meters of vertical to go. It's not quite vertical, it's more stepwise, I would call it today. But there are some pretty impressive high spots here. I wonder if this is all the same sponge species that make these different formations, because they look like the same texture and, and composition. No, yeah, it might be more variability. Yeah. Anytime you feel like you see a good specimen, would be a worthwhile collection. For sure, it's representative of this site, characteristic of this site. Is that a sea star? Sea star, yeah. One of the arms looks a little bit extended. Or maybe it's five arms. It looks like it's arms. maybe uh, five arms, but it looks like it's been caught off at the end, mm -hmm. yeah. On this sponge somehow. Seeing a lot more of these stylastrids as well. Very numerous. Is that all you need, washlights? Very good, thanks. Yes. Move it on. Yeah, so I, I was making a comment before I never finished my thought about how much less iron manganese crust we're seeing at this depth, possibly related to the different oceanographic conditions we're experiencing here compared to 3,000 meters. Little cave. Anyone home? Oh yeah, the sponges are aligned <laughs> on the ridge. <laughs> There's another branching purple. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Do you want to snap it real quick? Yeah, can we do a snap zoom? Yeah, video snap. Yeah, seems a little different. I don't see the polyps. Yeah, I would say it's very similar to the one we collected. Looks like you got yeah. uphill a little bit to your starboard now. Oh, barnacles. So far, you agree? Gooseneck barnacles. Yeah, we can center up some. Uh, this one's a little bit easier to yeah. see that it's most likely not a Victor Gorgiad or Victor Gorgia. Definitely a plexorid from this angle. Might still be the 190 because it's kind of stuck at 185. I got you. Maybe. Awesome. Nice shot of the barnacles too. Video Shrimp on the left hand side. It it's good to check out the diversity of associates as well. These barnacles don't seem to be associated with the coral, but rather on the stalk or on the stem, taking advantage of the bare tissue to attach. The same brittle star, though, seems to be attached to this colony as the last. All right, science is clear. No, no chirostylid crab on this one. So, 190? Yeah, bro. Oh, okay. maybe 195. All right. All right, moving on. I think we got a pretty good specimen with all those associates. A little, lots of little stars here. Mm -hmm. I think they're all the same 
asteroid we've been seeing with the thicker arm. Ah, look at this. Right at Hermit 2 o'clock. Two. Two. Yeah, oh, yeah, do a snap zoom. Something large. Oh, he's not too large. <laughs> like large because everything's so small. <laughs> it's not a hermit crab, it's a shrimp. This is different. Yeah, it's a very bizarre this, pattern yeah. shrimp. Very prominent, like serrated rostrum spines as well. Very spiny on the back end, too. It's a big shrimp. It's a jumbo shrimp. 12 centimeters. Not as big as the coconut shrimp we saw the other day. <laughs> Not actually a coconut shrimp, no. but <laughs> it was a shrimp on a coconut on the seafloor. <laughs> Is that all you need, Washlets? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. All right, video, if you're happy. All right. So now I'm centered up from 195 a little bit. Seems more. like some of the Cat some of these. Yeah, looks good. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. wow. So it's a different type of sedar, right, I think. Or you want to wait a maybe it's the same? I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll find out if it has serrated oh. spines or not. Or you probably get thorny spines. Yeah. You get it out there. It's you got lasers on this one, real quick. Did you want to snap? Bridge is Arvi now. Yeah, I'd like to move uh, one five meters, bearing one nine five degrees speed decimal. Oh, tip. these spines are smooth. Yep. It's different still. Different. So that might be the three third potential species of Sidarid we've seen on the dive. Very very fresh looking spines, not. Nothing t uh, much fouling them, except that, you know, one little lump on the lower yeah. right corner. Under here, too. All right. Thanks, pilot. No problem. Video whenever you're happy. I guess I'll start. Do you want to snap it real quick? Same guy. Same guy. Copy. These are a little bit bigger. Less dilacerates. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That's okay. That. That's okay. All right, we'll leave it. Oh, There's some more. Wow, big, look at all the big, all the brittle stars. Do you want to snap it real quick? Or? Must be in a good spot on this little promontory that's jutting out into the current here. Oh, I think there's actually a basket star on the end too in addition to these small brittle stars. It's a different, it's a different type of ophiroid we've seen before. And we haven't seen basket stars actually. Yeah. Huh. At the tip of this colony, the, the top end. Another chirostylid as well on the other side. It's a little bit difficult to see. Ah yeah, it is a basket star. A little bit of bare tissue there. That's a little strange. Could be from abrasion or possibly predation. Do you want to come partial? A little bit. Yeah, that's good. Keep that. Your port swing arm is pretty close, but it should be fine. Copy that. All right, wash aids. Is that good? Is that all you need? All set. Thank you. All right, Pity, if you're happy. It's very beautiful. Get your oh, shot brittle stars. Nice turn basket star. Uh, nope. yeah, we'll get that purple right background. Go for it. Yeah, get lasers real quick. Yeah. Alright, so looks good. Estimating right, colony cool. height here. It's probably around lasers. half a meter tall. A little bit more than half a meter. Yeah, it's about halfway through. Yeah, I'll like stop. I think we're doing okay. I'm at, uh, that's 60 degrees. 65 right there. Called it in. Yeah, that was talking about through the um, shift. You want some bottom time? Oh. That's what I was getting at. You can take it. Yeah, but if you want. If you want it, let me know. Yeah, sounds good. Move complete. Thanks, Bridge.
like the same merchant we just looked at. Sidered with the white spine. Can, can we snap on it anyway? Yeah. Video let's snap it. Oh, that was that serrated spines. Or yeah. thorny yeah. spines. And it has a yellow body. This one this looks one. like it's propped up on this sponge. It could be eating this sponge or something. I have a small watch later today. Copy? Yeah. All right, pi uh, pilot, thanks. No problem. Those thorns look nasty, don't they? They do. <laughs> I wonder if we did collect it, who would volunteer to get it out of the to box? To handle. <laughs> <laughs> I have to draw straws. Or some, like, leather gloves. And we'll get, like, tongs. You know? So for all those who are joining us today, we are diving on the northeast side of, or northwest side of Mona. It's a small little island in the kind of sandwich between the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. This island is a marine protected area. Um, there's no, there's fishing is not allowed within one meter radius of the island. One meter? I mean, one, one mile. Uh, <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little bit. No <laughs> I'm in meters, allowed. I'm in meters, <laughs> going back to miles. Effective. No, <laughs> forever. It's been, a, it's been a long 13 three feet, dives. Three feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to fourth with the meters and miles. This has gotten a little bit less structured, more smooth. Still a lot of sponges. Different star, uh, six o'clock, we just went over it. Y buenas tardes. Hoy estamos explorando el noroeste de la isla de Mona. Es una isla en el medio de la República, República Dominicana y de Puerto Rico. Hoy estamos explorando de un pendiente empenada. Y vimos muchos corales uh, uh, negros y blandos en este buceo. Y también una estrella de mar como esa en la pantalla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a... This is a different one now. It's different. We but were looking at... Maybe, maybe it's just the coloration's different because... Yeah, it's definitely darker, whiter arm tips. I think we, we saw something like this that looked like it could be uh, in the genus Mediaster or something like that. Mediaster, or possibly Odontaster. At least in the Goniasterid families. We can get it to there and then send Chris a photo and see what we can get back. Excellent pilot, thanks. Okay. All right. Get lasers can we get lasers? Time. Yeah, it's about just... And 10, there we go. All right, happy with that video? Yep. All right, pulling up. Thank you. No problem. Good eye. El objetivo de hoy es para caracterizar el, los hábitats de los peces en aguas profundos, profundas como cartucho y los meros. Ahora estamos subiendo en el pendiente y eh, estamos en a la profundidad de 472 metros. Yeah, 
these sponges are definitely everywhere. By far, I would say the most abundant thing. Although, between these and the small colonies of stylastrids, they might be giving the sponges a run for their money. What's that I don't orange? Uh, yeah, a small little structure in the middle of the screen now on the eleven o'clock. It's a distinctive color. Video, you want to snap this? Oh, it's a stylastrid. Oh. Pretty sure. It's a really cool stylastrid. <laughs> it looks like it's coated because the base is white. Yep. Yeah, stylastrids sometimes can have coloration. It, they're usually white, but you can sometimes see them. They're red or purple. These are pretty close relatives of the fire coral that I've known pretty intimately in several <laughs> occasions when I've been snorkeling or scuba diving. Not fun. Not fun, no. <laughs> the name is pretty descriptive, fire coral. <laughs> yeah, like fireworm. <laughs> yeah. It's like, don't touch those. Yeah. Good to document this. Thanks, pilot. No problem. Video ticket you want. And possibly another one to the right, but... Copy that. Never seen an orange style asteroid though. Yeah, uh, lower right. Distinctive color. We just went, just went to the deep screen. sea. Well, there's more up top. Yeah, there's quite a yeah, bunch of them all over. All have the white base. Yeah. Oh, there's a black coral. Yeah, a pen. Right of the laser. Right there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, snap zoom. Video go for snap. Oh, it looks like something similar, right? Yeah, similar to the one we saw maybe between the genus Parentopathies or Stylopathies. Probably closer to Stylopathies. But we'll wait for some feedback on that. Thanks, pilot. Copy that. All right, video. Come on. Lasers on it. All right. Um, what's ship status now? Ship is stationary. Ship is stationary. Copy. Uh, I think we get a move in. What do you think, our pilot? Uh, yep. Sounds good. Is that a skate? Right. Yeah. 20, 15. Right oh, at sure. 6 o'clock. Can Pretty we do a snap soon? 20. Yeah. Yeah, so they can watch them. Two zero meters, bearing one nine five. Yes, I watched it. Sorry. Uh, there you go. I just had some voices in my head. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> Good copy. Thanks, Bridge. Uh, we thought maybe it was a fish. Sorry I think it's a sponge. It's th uh, that copy. blue encrusting sponge. Yeah. 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 Pilot confirms uh, not a fish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it took me a second to respond. <gasps> All right. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, pilot. If if you could, uh, just out of screen, we passed it in the lower right hand corner. Yeah, there was a yellow yeah. fan shaped object. Maybe about twenty, ten, fifteen centimeters in height. Bushy looking. 
There it is. It's coming into view. You can snap on it first. Video go for snap. Oh, there we go. This looks more like the yellow plexorid octocoral where most of us are more used to. Not as vibrant purple, but at least we can see that there are a couple different species or color morphs in this area. This looks very similar to the plexorid we had first uh, looked at when we first arrived on bottom as well. Okay, thanks. No problem. The tissue here actually appears a little white on the branches and yellow. The polyps are definitely more golden to yellow in color. I also might want to take another closer look at this fan coming up to the 11 o'clock. Yeah, too. copy that. Maybe a little bit more than a snap because there's a lot of associates. Yeah, copy. So full, full zoom. It's much more highly branching from Noid than we've seen so far. I also didn't see any I think we saw one associated brittle star on the first colony we zoomed at. But we're more or less, oh, what's our depth? All right. 465, 465. Video, you can start to come in. We're pretty close. It's going to start leveling off pretty soon. This is interesting. Also, move complete. Thanks, Bridge. Definitely a primnoid. like it was probably in the genus Caligorgia. I'm looking at a couple of things like the length of the length of the branchlets as well as the shape of the axis. Shape of the polyps, how many different polyps might be in a single whorl. Associates like that shrimp. Polyps here are very small, maybe a few millimeters in length. But there's at least three or four brittle stars that I saw coming in. Thanks, pilot. I think uh, I think that's satisfactory. The only reason why I say take a double look is that the Caligorgia specimen we collected on day <laughs> two, one. I think it one was two. two. Day two. We didn't collect anything on the first dive. That's correct. Um, could possibly have be a new species, or at least a morphology we haven't seen before. So this is good to get a close up. This is definitely very different than that. All right, copy that. Thanks. Video, are you happy? Yep. All right, I'm moving on. That actually, is the way that the colony is bent over. Yeah. It reminds me of a specimen. A spiral rip. Whip. There's uh, another sticklepathies, but not orange. This one's a different. Do you want a snap Or is this a different? Yeah, question? that would be great. I hope that you can start to come in. Oh, there we go. Black coral, you can see very clearly the black skeleton underneath. Skeleton's really thick, actually. 
This is one of the more robust colonies of stickopathies that I've seen. There's at least one brittle star. Yeah, very nice. That base <laughs> is really thick for stickopathies. You normally they're base very thin. But on the way out, can we get lasers on this pilot? Yeah, copy that. Thank you. Our co pilot, are we ready? Grab some lasers. There yeah. we go. Yep, so Two to three centimeters diameter. It's really long. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, it goes down for a while. Alright. Move it on. It's like substrate kind of reminds me of like not shale, but it's like coming off and like these pieces. Yeah, likely layers like layers of yep, layers of carbonate. Ah, oh, yeah. what is that? Lower left, left. there was yeah. a worm like oh, yeah. or Something. fish like. Squiggly thing. <laughs> Using technical terms uh -huh. today. Squiggly thing, out. bushy. What is this? It's a eel. Oh, or? it looks like an eel. You grab lasers, clip on it. This is something that we haven't seen. Go for head first video? Yeah. Copy. It's very smooth. <laughs> yeah. Normally we don't see them sitting still, especially on open ground. Said I damaged. Uh, this is definitely an eel we have not seen. It's a much shallower depth than a lot of the congruids we've been seeing, but Still worth a, a longer look. Try to rotate, see if I can get a better look at its face. Yeah, if you could get it's maybe really another moving. snap zoom towards the face. Yeah. It's like frozen. <laughs> it's in shock. Spoke too soon. All right, I think he's gone. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, she's just right there. There he is. Do you want me to <laughs> attempt to pursue him again, or? Sure, if yeah, if you can. Uh, it might be turned. Just to get a close up left. of yeah, close to the to the head. All right, Peter. You want to start to come in, in case he tries to book it again. Go ahead, Bridge. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's okay. All right, copy that. Thanks for the try. Understood. 
Copy that. Yeah, 